The iPhone 15 Pro has a processor whose single core performance is higher than that of my $3,000 MacBook Pro M1 Max. Take that in for a second. This phone has a faster single core processor than this Pro laptop. And yes, the MacBook has more processors and uses them in parallel to be faster overall, but that's really only noticeable in things like when I'm editing three simultaneous 4K streams of video in a multicam shot. Literally every single other function that I use a computer for would be just as fast on this phone. And that's a comparison to a pretty beefy computer setup. Most people get the base model, and this phone has a processor that's basically on par with a regular M2 Mac. The iPhone 15 Pro does recognize USB-C hubs. Check this out. It does work with both HDMI and USB-C monitors. It does see my keyboard, and it works. A wired mouse works too. You can just click anywhere you would normally touch, and the scroll wheel works like you'd expect it to. Netflix was clearly thinking about this already, and they built it into their app, where once you pick a show, hit play, it's gonna automatically go into landscape mode on the TV, and then your phone is just kind of like a, a controller, I guess, where you could skip forward if you wanted to. So some apps are clearly thinking about this, and they're ready to go. You can even call up the search thing on your home screen by just scrolling down on the scroll wheel. Type something in, hit enter, it goes right to it. In order to make a mouse work, you do have to go into settings, go into accessibility, go to touch, and then go to assistive touch and make sure that's turned on. That's what'll give you this little dot cursor like on an iPad. And if you turn your phone sideways, you can indeed use a mouse and a keyboard on a big screen with your iPhone 15. And if you have a USB-C to ethernet adapter, this phone will even take an ethernet connection and use it. We already know that the A series of processors is essentially the same animal as the M series of Apple processors. So they are technically capable of all the same tasks for the most part. My iPad, which is the most current, the 10th generation of regular iPad, has an A14 chip in it three generations behind the A17 Pro chip in the iPhone 15 Pro. And it's funny, something I only recently ever even thought of trying, plugging my iPad into my Apple Studio display, results in this thing basically becoming a desktop computer. It recognizes wired keyboards and mouse. You can use command tab to switch between apps like on a Mac. You can even watch a video while you work on a document. Write emails, send messages. You can connect to an external drive. Pretty much all the normal tasks that most normal people normally do on a computer, an iPad can do flawlessly and easily with the keyboard and mouse attached to it. And this phone is beefier in every single respect than this iPad. Faster processor, more RAM, triple the speed of its neural network, whatever that is. And mine at least even has a bigger hard drive. So just everything about this phone is a more powerful computer than this iPad. And this iPad works essentially exactly like this laptop when you hook it up to a screen, keyboard, and mouse. So why not just dock this phone to a hub and use it as a computer too? And you can, but unfortunately there are a few inconveniences when you hook it up this way. For one, switching apps. There's no way to get out of an app and into another one without swiping up from the bottom of the screen, which isn't that big of a deal. It would just take a little getting used to. Once you're in an app, like Pages, for instance, if you're like me, as maybe an uncommon example, a person who makes videos on YouTube, once you're in here and you're writing, this experience is just like on a computer or an iPad. It's super responsive. All of the autofill and spell check things work like you would expect. You can easily highlight something you want to change. You can change fonts, change the text size, whatever. I would say that if you're a writer, your phone can literally be your desktop computer now. From here until the end of this video, I actually wrote the rest of this script on my phone this way. And it's totally normal, just using a keyboard and a mouse on a screen. Not all apps work in landscape mode though, most notably the home screen. So if you're in pages and you go back to the home screen, it's not gonna work landscape, it's just gonna be sideways. And you'll notice that with my mouse, although the cursor's going left and right on the screen, left and right becomes up and down on the monitor because it thinks the thing is turned to the side. So there's a couple of little funny things like that. I thought maybe I could use the orientation lock to fix that, but that locks it to the up and down mode, even if you're in landscape when you hit it. Yeah, orientation lock locks it into the portrait mode. The other thing that makes this a little bit less desirable is that there's no resizing of the menu or the interfaces. So if you're in your mail, for instance, and you turn it sideways, everything's kind of crammed in there. Everything's a little big or in the way or just kind of odd looking on a big screen because it's designed for a little one. But that doesn't mean that you couldn't very easily reply to emails. Here I am flying to an email on my phone. The only thing preventing this from being a completely new reality is software. Apple could very easily make it so that the phone recognizes when it's plugged into a screen and make it act more like an iPad does. Like I said before, this thing is way more capable than this thing. And I occasionally do use my iPad as a desktop. If it's just web browsing, messaging, YouTube videos, and email, there's literally no difference between using this or the laptop when it's plugged into the screen. The last thing is this phone will heat up quite a bit when it's driving a monitor while charging and running whatever app. So there's that. And I would suggest the new setting where you can 
can tell it to only charge up to 80%. That'll make the battery last a lot longer, whether or not you're using a monitor with the phone. Now that we have a fast USB-C port on the iPhone 15 Pro, your phone can work as a desktop computer, and future versions of iOS could, and I hope they do, make this work incredibly well. That's all.